Hey everyone, season's green, we're in the month of December 2020, what a year, and uh, we're going to continue on with some uh, bass note strumming, this time in the key of D. So we're going to introduce a new chord for bass notes. Uh, in the key of D, there's going to be two sharps, so you've got your D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp, and D. Okay, and uh, we have to figure out the one, four, five chords because those are most common chords in the, that we'll be playing using for songs. Obviously, your one chord is a D, the first note of the scale. Count to four: D, E, F sharp, G. That's your fourth chord, and so the next one up, A, is your fifth chord, and that's what we're going to be learning today: the bass note for the A chord. I play my A chord this way. This is how I learned. I put index finger on. 3rd string 2nd fret or 3-2, middle finger on 4-2, ring finger on 2-2. Two two. The reason I do that, it makes it easy to go to the D. I just use that first finger as a pivot. Okay, so your but your bass note for the A chord is real easy. It's an A note. Bass note, primary bass note is always the name of the chord. And it's the 5th string open, so that's real easy. Okay, so in 4-4 four, four time, I play bass note strum, bass note strum, bass note strum. Okay, and then um, just to play a quick chord progression, I'll play two measures D, two measures G, two measures D, two measures A. Okay, so it goes like this. One, two, three, four. And G. A song in 4-4 four, four that we're going to do, but I do have a song in 3-4 time. In keeping with the season, we're going to do Away in a Manger in 3-4 time. And last time I switched, I'm not going to go D to A, and the last time I'll go D to A7, which is just like that. So here we go. Just start strumming. One, two, three. key was a little bit rough. It was a little bit low for me. So I could do a real simple trick to raise the pitch of the song, if I want to try that again, with this little thing here called a capo. Just clips right on. I'm going to put it on the second fret. And I, I'm not retuning, so I may put it a little bit out of tune, but I just want to give you this example. So now it's made the string shorter. It's raised the pitch by a whole step. So now Instead of the sound actually being like a D chord, it sounds like an E, but I'm going to play the same chords as I just did. It just makes a higher pitch. It would be better for my voice. Let's hear how it sounds now. So it makes it better for my voice. It's not as low. If I wanted to, I could even raise it more. And see. Jesus, 
stars in the sky Look down where he lay The little Lord Jesus Asleep on the hay That might even be a better key for me. So anyway, Merry Christmas. Hope you're having fun. I'll see you in the next video.